Hey everyone and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah and today's video I will be showing you what it looks like underneath the popular game Among Us astronaut suits. If they were animals. And who's to say they aren't? As soon as I saw how big Among Us has been getting and after playing it I knew I had to do something with them because so many content creators are and I'm small on YouTube and I'm trying my best okay. <laughs> also I'm not like other girls because my content is all about sharing my passion for animals through art and just straight up sharing the things I learned about cool animals in the hopes to inspire you and to bring awareness to really interesting things about animals you think you might know everything about. Or to introduce you to animals I didn't even know existed and you didn't either. So I'm using the Among Us astronaut silhouette to inspire each animal I smush into the suits. The first astronaut suit I'm forcing an animal into is the red suit. And I chose the Bolivian Red Howler. And you best believe I'm giving you some facts about them too. Bolivian Red Howlers primarily live in the neotropical rainforest of Bolivia near rivers. I chose these monkeys because I mean look how rich the color red they are is. It honestly almost looks fake to me. It is truly incredible. Bolivian Red Howler monkeys are considered to be the loudest land animals and I feel like that is fitting because there's always that one player who just is so much louder than everybody else accusing left and right on who's the imposter, which can be quite sus. The next colored suit I'm smashing an animal into is the dark blue one. I wanted to have a variety of species of animals for each Among Us color because I honestly could have just picked a bird for each color since there are so many brilliant colors in birds and while searching for the animals to choose which one to put in each colored suit, there was always a bird that popped up with the intense version of that color. But for diversity's sake, I decided to choose wildly, <laughs> wild animals. I decided to choose wildly different animals to have an excuse to talk about all kinds of animals in this video. And with that said, this dark blue suit, I did choose a bird, and that is the hyacinth macaw. The hues in this bird is just so vibrant and exact to that Among Us suit, I couldn't not pick him. Hyacinth macaws are the largest macaw species, and macaw pairs remain bonded. Like those Among Us players who are just a little too close to another astronaut. Extremely sus. The next color suit I jammed an animal into is the dark green suit, and so I chose a crocodile. Crocodiles have the strongest bite of any animal in the world, so this astronaut could quite might easily be the imposter killing off all of you one by one. But even with the strongest bite down, their muscles used to open their mouths are quite small and weak, so it is pretty easy for someone to just hold it shut with their bare hands. Maybe to keep him quiet from snitching on the imposter? They also have great night vision, so they can definitely see when the lights go out. Plus, they are cold-blooded killers. And they can fool you with those crocodile tears. Very, very sus. Though crocodiles can actually produce tears, but it's never for any emotional reasoning. So they might sound believable, but they could be fooling you. This next Among Us suit I'm squishing an animal into is the yellow suit. So I chose a little yellow duckling for this one because they are such a bright yellow color before they grow in their adult feathers. And they're just so cute and innocent, but maybe too cute and innocent. Ducklings have to survive the first few weeks of life, and it's not so easy. They can't fly away or swim very fast, making them really easy prey to predators in the wild. Or the imposter. Once they do grow up a little bit more, they get their waterproof adult feathers in, and they become a little bit more independent and capable of anything. The next suit I'm putting an animal into is the pink suit, and this one is a flamingo. I did a whole other video on flamingos and their similarities to bats, and created a batingo in one of my Fun Fact Friday series videos, which I have a playlist of, so I would definitely encourage you to go check it out to learn more about flamingos. But with all the animals I talk about in my videos, I always have the sources I get my information from linked in the description so you can go learn more if you're interested. I will say though that something about flamingos that can be suspicious is that since they get their rich pink color from the food that they eat, they really can't lie about their diet. So what if their diet is crewmates? The animal I'm cramming into the orange suit is a fox. And we've all heard of those suspicious and sly foxes. Foxes are mostly solitary and prefer to hunt and sleep alone. So they might be sleeping with one eye open, but they also do the killing on their own as well. So watch out for that stray orange crewmate. Something interesting about foxes too is that they are more closely related to felines than canines and can even retract their claws like cats can. So they may be cute and soft at first until you turn the corner and the claws come out. So this is the first half of the color options for the astronaut suits in Among Us. I will be creating another part to finish off the rest of the colors and what animals would be in them for next week's video. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon 
to be notified when I upload so you know what crewmates to look out for and which one is really a blood hungry animal on the inside. I upload a new video each and every Friday, so come back here next week for more content. If you made it this far and you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and comment which of these first six Among Us astronaut animals do you think is the imposter? My next milestone is 100 subscribers and I think we are just over 80. So if you enjoy learning about animals and you like art content too, my channel is for you. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me so far on my YouTube journey. I do read all of your comments and respond because I feel like it's the least I can do. I really enjoy smushing animals into these simple silhouettes. It was a fun challenge to figure out where their limbs would go. And since I did draw them in ink, there wasn't much fixing after I put that ink down that I could do. So I'm not thrilled with the quality of these drawings, but I do plan to rework them digitally because these are just such fun concepts to me, and I definitely want to revisit it for a more polished drawing. If you enjoyed this video's concept, I did a whole series of blob art challenges when I turned abstract colored shapes into an animal by drawing over them. I definitely milked that challenge out over a few weeks, six to be exact, and it was in the more intense parts of my college semester, so that's why. But there's a whole six videos of them, so if you're interested, I'll have the link to that playlist in my description. With all the art challenges on my channel, I really do treat them like ways to exercise my creativity and less trying to make an amazing drawing each time. I feel like this really helps me out as far as not burning out through it, you know? And I know within myself as an artist, I do have a lot of talents. If I choose to push myself and work through a drawing to make it better, I know I can. But using prompts and challenges that I create for myself really exercises my imagination more than anything. And I think that's what art challenges are all about. I recently did Inktober. And if you've tried Inktober or have done Inktober in the past, you might understand how easy it is to just stop getting excited about drawing every day. It does start to feel like a chore sometimes. And I feel like if you just use the prompts to come up with concepts and not having it in your brain that you have to make this amazing drawing every single day, the pressure is off and you can really focus on creating a really unique concept and push your ideas further. What also helped me when I was feeling like I was losing a little motivation to keep going, I just told myself that there's literally nothing stopping me from reworking or redrawing anything better in the future. So what's with all this pressure to do an amazing drawing that day for? Anyway, that was kind of a tangent, but I'll have links to my Inktober journey from this year in my description as well, so you can check it out if you want. As always, I have affiliate links to the supplies I use for this video, along with my social media and the sources I use for the information on the animals in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hyacinth macaws are the largest macaw species. Species, species, species. Oh my god.